One of the major issues with my one pound combat robot cheesecake is the unreliable drive. At my last two tournaments, there were many times where one or both of my drive motors stopped working. This was very strange to me because I thought I was doing everything right. I was using Fingertech gear motors with 33 to 1 gearboxes, held in place with some nice 3D printed housings, and I had the axles supported on both sides. To see what was causing my gear motors to stop working, I opened up a couple of the gearboxes, and I found that the gear which connects to the axle had some bent teeth and some missing teeth. There's one of the teeth, just floating around loose inside the gearbox. That's not good. For reference, this is what a not broken gearbox looks like. Nice even teeth, nothing missing, nothing bent. So what could be causing my gearbox teeth to bend and break? Well, as far as I can tell, it looks like there's just too much impact going from the wheels, through the axle, and into the gearbox. Indeed, in my recent fight against Nomad, you can see me lose one of my drive motors simply from the recoil of my own hit as I slide sideways across the arena. That's very bad. So how can I fix this? Well, if the problem really is impact loads from the wheel to the axle to the gearbox, then the simplest solution is to put some kind of cushion, some kind of shock absorber, between the wheel and the gearbox. And so, I designed this. It's the same basic wheel as before, but it now has springy spokes to absorb not only side loads as I slide across the floor, but also vertical loads if I get tossed in the air. With no idea how well these wheels would work, I took my robot to the SAAS Robot Rumble in Seattle, Washington, where I had the pleasure of fighting one of the scariest robots I've ever faced. Strikes Twice, a one-pound vertical spinner reminiscent of Bite Force from the BattleBots TV show. At this point in the tournament, I'd already fought three times using these new wheels, and my drive motors had survived all of them with no issues. So I decided to take a risk and keep using the same motors for my fight against Strikes Twice. Let the ultimate durability test begin. Okay, well, suffice it to say, Cheesecake is not the kind of robot that benefits from fighting in a small arena with a pit. But, Strikes Twice completely steamrolled me anyway, so I can't really complain. The good news is, Cheesecake was still fully functional after that fight. My drive was completely fine, and my weapon still worked despite the brief shutdown during the fight. I'd call that a win for what I set out to prove. And hey, had I not fallen into the pit, I might have actually won, but that'll have to come from better driving. I definitely need to rein in my steering limits and get better at placing my shots. Now, I said that Cheesecake was fully functional after my fight with Strikes Twice, and that is true, but I still took a lot of damage. Strikes Twice chewed up my TPU bumpers, he broke my frame where it supports my wheels, he completely cut through one of the arms holding my weapon, and he introduced me to the ceiling. That is one nasty bot, and that was one spectacular fight. And for the sake of telling the entire story, here are my other three fights from this tournament. What did I say about better driving? Yeah, I should do that.
My opponent in this fight was a plastic ant weight, which was slowly becoming a regular ant weight, but he still had plastic forks, so no mercy. Seems like Chief is going to have an issue with their horizontal spinner. Is Cheesecake's weapon only weapon? Unfortunately, even though my spinner hits at a noticeable downward angle, it's just not angled enough to bite into low wedges, so this feature of my design is definitely a bust. I still like my large wheels because they elevate my chassis away from my opponent's weapons, but it's probably time to try smaller wheels to see how well they work. And those were my fights. As I said, my main takeaway is that my drive never died, which makes me really optimistic going forward. Thanks for watching.